TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability In this latest version of Christmas Lumberjack, when the green flag is clicked, the timer starts and the player scores points by clicking on the trees in an effort to score as many points as possible in 20 seconds. The green trees are worth one point, the red trees are worth 4 points and the one bonus blue tree is worth 10 points. The blue tree appears and disappears at random locations on the stage to make clicking on it harder. This invites the player to try different strategies to score the maximum points in the time allowed. In this video I'm going to show you a technique that sits at the heart of many computer games and is a useful programming concept that can also be applied in many simulations of real world events. A game is often more interesting and challenging if it contains an element of chance or luck. One way we can achieve this in programming is by using randomness. Here Christmas Lumberjack has been simplified to show only two trees, one coloured green, the other blue. Remember it's often easier to understand and control how a program works if it's built up from smaller chunks of code. You can always add complexity at a later stage when you've got the basics of the program working the way you want. Here's the block we need to randomize an event called pick random. This block generates a random number between two values. The first input box specifies the lowest possible value for the random number while the second input box specifies the highest possible value. So if I put a 1 in the first input and 3 in the second the block will generate either 1, 2 or 3. Then if I place it inside a weight block we can use the pick random block to help generate a weight of a random number of 1 two or three seconds. This could then be followed by many different instructions. To change the sprite's colour. To change the sprite's size. To make a sound. Or even say hello. Well I want this script to make the blue tree appear on and disappear from the stage at random intervals. So adding the show block will make the tree appear and after another wait for a random period instruction the hide block will make the tree disappear. This now says wait for a random period between 1 and 3 seconds then appear or show then wait for a random period between 1 and 2 seconds, then hide. I'd like the blue tree to appear and disappear a number of times during the game to give the player a chance of scoring a bonus, if they're quick enough. So I'll need a repeat block. Here are some of the available repeat blocks we could use. Each has its advantages and disadvantages, but I'm going to choose this one, the repeat until block. We can use the variable timer inside a boolean block to dictate how long the repeats go on for. You can choose the block with the operator you need from the palette, but if, as in this case, there is a block already on the stage, we can just duplicate it, then right click on the block and select the operator required. Oh, and I need to give the blue tree a higher bonus value, so I'll alter the change score variable by to 10. Well, the script works to a point, but there's a small problem that you may now notice. If the timer is already down to zero, the repeat until block will tell the script to stop repeating before it has even started. This issue, or bug, comes about because we have two event blocks. The two when green flag is clicked blocks trying to start at the same time. We have one here in the blue tree sprite and one here in the stage. Sense, along with other programming languages, allows multi-threading, that is the ability to have more than one event going on at the same time. It's a useful feature that allows for some quite sophisticated programming, but for our purposes creates a bug that needs fixing. We just need to add a delay to the script in the blue tree sprite, like this. Now running this script makes the blue tree appear and disappear on the stage. 
Well, I think we've covered enough in this video to get you started with using the Pick Random block. Use it to add more challenge to your version of the Christmas Lumberjack game. In the second part of this video, I'll show you how you can make the tree appear randomly in different positions on the stage to make the game even more challenging. In the meantime, see if you can work this out for yourself and add it to your game. Until next time, bye for now.